if you're at all serious about Counter-Strike, you have an opinion about Zeus. Oh, here we go, Zeus though. Finally does something. <laughs> He's cat and kill. After all, he is one of the most controversial in-game leaders ever to touch the game. During his 17-year-long career, Zeus has served as a founding member of one of esports' most fabled dynasties. He's made it to the finals of not one, not two, not three, but four CSGO majors. He's been kicked from the org he helped create, banded together a group of misfits, made the tournament run of a lifetime, and earned back his spot on the very roster that dropped him to begin with. Zeus has stood atop the world of competitive Counter-Strike for over a decade. And chances are, you think he sucks. That in addition to being an actual bot, he isn't some brazen barbaric visionary with god-tier gut instincts. He's, well, kind of a joke. <laughs> This is the story of the most divisive mastermind Counter-Strike has ever had. I just say, all of Meister, I love you. And second, God help me and I won measure. When it comes to Counter-Strike, there are few competitors who've been around for as long as Danilo Zeus Teslenko. Born in Kharkiv, Ukraine, this boisterous in-game leader is also, shy of simple, the single most famous player the CIS has ever produced. I was probably about 12 years old, I started to play in the computer room, play, play with CS, and it went and went slowly. Like a lot of OG 1.6ers, Zeus's Counter-Strike career kicked off back in the early to mid 2000s. In 2005, I flew first to the championship of the World Cyber Games in Singapore. From Pro 100 to Virtus Pro to Forza, DTS Gaming, and Kerchnet, Zeus spent over five years cutting his teeth on a variety of rosters. It wasn't until 2010 that he became a founding member of what would quickly become the crown jewel of CIS orgs, Navi. Предложили играть за команду Navi, потом уже постепенно мы начали играть и выигрывать. Alongside such legendary names as Edward and the fabled opera Markolov, Zeus played an instrumental role in helping Navi to usher in their era. But despite that success, here's the thing. Zeus wasn't a fragger. He was a thinker, a leader. But that's not to say he was calm, cold, or calculating. He was brutish, aggressive, and emotive. He played with his heart as much as he did his mind. He is a real man. He is a very strong person. He is the kindest one in the world. Oh, shit. <laughs> With Zeus at the helm and Starix guiding him every step of the way, Navi quickly solidified themselves as gods of the game. They weren't just the CIS's finest, they were titans a world power whose dominance remains a thing of legend to this day. Navi играют защиту. Ты Эдвард, ты Эдвард! By 2011, Navi had become the only 1.6 roster ever to win four majors in succession, and were largely considered to be the greatest force the game had ever seen. Alive and kicking, Neo takes down Starix, there is Zeus on Goose, and he manages to get to Edward up close, and Zeus will finish it off, and Navi will win the Intel Extreme Masters World Championship, back-to-back -back champions for the first time in the Intel Extreme Masters history. Unfortunately, following the much-anticipated release of CSGO in August of 2012, Navi's reign of tyranny came to a halt. They were still formidable, but tasked with learning an entirely new game, and having come to it rather late, the Ukrainian super squad struggled. VP, attack on AGG, write the players of the Navi, получает Starik 16-13. 2-0, friends, 2-0. Virtus.pro, they send to the final winner.
By the time the first CSGO major rolled around in late 2013, Na'Vi had reached an all-time low. Despite being kings of the world a year prior, Zeus's roster simply hadn't adapted to global offensive the way others had. Great kill there, bomb goes down as well now, some 2 on 4 Starix is alone, and LGB have done it, they have eliminated Na'Vi from Dreamhack Winter 2013. If Zeus was going to restore Na'Vi to their former glory, he'd need to put his nose to the grindstone. Come 2014, they'd finally found a suitable replacement for Markolov, an up-and-coming opera known as Guardian, and were starting to show signs of progress. Slowly but surely, Navi began to climb. They may have placed dead last in Katowice. <laughs> But Cologne saw them eke their way into the top eight. Fnatic are in the semifinals. Now we are gonna go out. And by Dreamhack Winter, they'd earned their rightful place in the final four. Lined up and Zipix has got three of them already with 30 seconds left to go. Can he go all the way? No, he can't. Navi has done it in two maps and they've done it in some style. They send out a message to the other semifinalists that they're here and they're here to stay. By 2015, Zeus had proven that despite being a simple meat and potatoes kind of strategist, he was a world-class IGL. What's more, he'd become known for having a highly idiosyncratic leadership style. What fucking talent is Zeus working with? He's working with guys where on his team, I'd argue there might not be any superstar player. How are they getting so many T rounds? How is he doing it? Here's the best part of it. It's pure execution. He was a leader in the game. And now it's all on Shroud here. 17 seconds and he goes for the fight. He goes down. And now we are going to win in 16-14. And you can tell the impact on Cloud9 there. Oh, wow. And he was a mentor and caregiver outside of the server. Zeus was just one of those people who was born to be a leader. He wasn't even that big brained. He just had a knack for rallying players together and getting them to perform. Out of game, Zeus is a charismatic, larger-than-life figure. I mean, you can see him literally yelling on comms to his players. Now, whether it's for something they did that he didn't like or something they did that he did like, well, it depends on the day. In-game, however, his leadership style or his IGLing strats, if you look at his T-sides, he's super well-known for holding his team back, probing, looking for holes, and then sometimes literally at the last second exploding onto a site. He'd been on Na'Vi since day one, and despite handing over many of his in-game responsibilities to Starix, who'd become Na'Vi's coach in March of 2015, his love for teamwork was eternal. <laughs> And despite losing all three of the year's majors to an absurdly dominant Envious, 2016 was the year that Zeus was finally able to lead his team to first place finishes at a myriad of premier tournaments. Not to mention the fact that he'd led the CIS to its first ever CSGO major final. To this site, and it's an ideal situation for them, but MVK removes Zeus and it's not looking good. Oh, and a second headshot there. Flamey gonna be gone. Hiroshima, and there it is. Envy winning the last major of 2015 and the second title in a row here for three of these players. The first for Penny and Apex. What a victory. Fortunately, Navi's penultimate finish at the major only made them hungrier. Zeus led his roster to top four finish after top four finish before charging into Counter-Strike's first million dollar major in Columbus as feisty hopefuls. And sure enough, they delivered. Overwhelmed by Edward and now it's down to Freiburg and he goes down as well. The bomb does get planted, but there's more than enough time for the defuse to come through. That's gonna be it, ladies and gentlemen. Na'Vi, they make yet another semi-final. 16 to 10 here as they defeat NIP. And I dare say it, it's over. Na'Vi are in the grand final, the second straight time.
For the second major in a row, Zeus led his squad to the grand finals. With Fnatic out of the picture, and arguably the best opera in the world at his disposal, the pressure was on for Zeus to earn Navi their first CSGO major. They haven't quite ever lived up to their billing. They've come close. They were in the final of the last major and weren't able to close the deal. It took a long time, a long road for us to get here. I think we are ready to crush every single team at this event. Unfortunately, it was in that final, against a group of especially explosive Brazilians, that things slowly started going to shit. They've got almost no health, he can definitely do this, he looks for the shot, he gets the one kill in, and there's her, picking it up, and Luminosity winning on Mirage. After letting the first map slip out of their grasp, Navi entered the second on the verge of complete and utter collapse. And now it is a one on two. Taco looking to see if he can close it out here and win it for the Brazilians. It's going to be a big turnaround there. Hits the headshot on Zeus, and now it's a one on one. Guardian versus Taco. It may just be destined to be. And it's Luminosity winning their first major championship. Following Columbus, it felt as if Navi were a bit shaken up. They failed to win anything in preparation for the next major in Cologne, and despite topping their group, suffered a quarterfinal exclusion at the hands of the Ukraine's biggest up-and-coming star. Simple. Simple. So commit to the plan? No, fades it out smartly, so gets Edward, and he knows that they're trying to wrap back around onto him. Smoke to allow him the freedom of movement and also the chance to peek spots the gun barrel of Zeus. He's gonna try and catch him out, lurk up closely. He sees him coming, nice shot by Simple. There's two, one to go. Sees, oh, oh. back turn, they don't know they're there. And he does, he does it, he pulls it back. He keeps it for 13 rounds for Liquid, and I'm sorry, Navi. Your chances, they're gone again. It's gonna have to be a hell of a second half from you. Who still has a pistol, he cannot play this. He cannot fade it out. Nitro, his presence known it long, and Guardian's aware of it. That's the chance to advance, and also have a Nitro. Man, oh man, what a round to pull this back. Unbelievable. Coming out of Cologne, some worried that Zeus's career was waning. Sitting just shy of 30 years old, his window to win a major was closing, fast. He'd never been an especially talented fragger, but as Navi's results got worse, so too did the bullying. To some, Zeus had become a veritable bot. It must be soon. There's only there's less than 10 seconds at this point. Zeus is burning. He's burning. No! What is going on? Colors actually going to burn Zeus alive. What? He didn't realize not to. What on earth just happened? And he's just going to get shot in the back here by Flamey. Walks in between the train, but he really should. I have no idea how he's still alive. Somebody shoot Cold Sierra at this point. Hiding behind the train here, and they jump down. Zeus! Oh! Flamey going to get that kill with the Molotov. The flames catches him. What's worse, the community had started to doubt his ability to do the one thing he'd always been known for, be a leader. Despite all the chances Navi had been given, they always found a way to fall short. I think you could make a pretty strong case that Navi, Natas Vincere, the current five-man lineup they have, is arguably the best team in the history of CSGO not to win a major. And it was right then, just as the community wrote Navi off as a sinking ship, that it happened. After donning the black and yellow for nearly a decade, the very org that Zeus had worked so hard to put on the map kicked him. Navi was his baby. I started this organization from the beginning. Given that Navi had pretty much taken him out to pasture, and the fact that his stock was at an all-time low, the expectation was that Zeus would simply settle for what he'd achieved up until that point, hang up his mouse and keyboard, and ease into retirement. The thing is, Zeus wasn't done. He'd sworn that he was going to win a CSGO major, so he did a very difficult thing, something that no one who'd come as far as he had would ever think to do. Start over. Я вот капитаном был двух команды Na'Vi и команды вот сейчас Gambit. Now it goes without saying that Gambit weren't of the same caliber as a Na'Vi. It was clear from the get-go that it would be an uphill battle, since all Zeus had to work with was veteran Russian player Doja and a trio of Kazakhstani misfits. Я присоединился к команде Gambit в октябре, и тогда я уже узнал то, что будет у нас 
Я был очень удивлен и очень рад тому, что у меня будет такой капитан, очень опытный, очень сильный, и я очень рад, что я с ним в команде. And before long, that work had started to pay off. That'll keep them alive with a chance, but only a hope in hell, because it's one versus three. He's down to 25, bomb planted, and Gambit, they're your Dream Hack Open champions! What a performance from them, upsetting so many teams all the way through, and like you say, building for the major. I'm impressed. This team is very exciting to watch. He said, if you want to win the titles, you have to leave this game. When you sleep, you have to think about the game, and whole day must be about CSGO. Здесь нам помог выиграть Team Hack. Я думаю, во-первых, своим духом. У него есть какой-то дух победителя. Come the Atlanta Major in early 2017, Gambit were brimming with confidence. And he's gonna hit the headshot on Adrian, but it's a 1v3 and they're gonna swarm him. 16 to 8 at the end of Absol the first map of the Major. I mean, absolutely amazing, isn't it? It's, it's true Counter-Strike Major fashion. There's always an upset. So many people to fight against three players. How do you avoid the triple P coming in? The bomb, I think it might be being defused. Mo's got a kit. He's got a kit and the Hobbit hold things down. Gambit, the last round, 16 to 14. They make it to the Fox Theater. Unfortunately, they just didn't have the grit to go all the way. They have the nades. Zeus just needs to hit some god tier headshots right now. He happens to be named after one, but whoo, at the same time, it's done. Plenty of time. They all have kits. Fnatic will be able to get the defuse and move on to the semifinals. But as far as the community was concerned, a top eight finish was the best that Zeus and his band of underdogs could hope for. Even as their tournament results improved, Gambit entered the Krakow major as an unknown variable who weren't expected to beat the tournament's top teams. But now when Zeus joins, you can just definitely tell like how he has transformed this team yeah. into a team that has the potential of winning best of threes versus some of the best teams in the world. We're not talking SKs here. I still think that they're a little bit far, far beyond for that, but you know, potentially upsetting some other big names here. But Zeus wasn't ready to roll over. Almost no chance that he can do this. He's boxed in. Oh, and sure enough, there it is. End days from Al Sports, at least here at the beginning. 16-10 victory for Gambit in their first match of the Major very early, but due to a quick rotate over from the B site, and Zeus will start things off. Just trade kills all over the place until Hobbit shows up and gets a trim on quad. Okay then, Hobbit. The man is here to play. Such an explosive team of Dren at least went down, and he almost got the kill on Doja then. But he's stuck back here, and he's gonna go down. Hobbit not even waiting for it. 16-6 as Gambit take down G2 on cash, or cash, or cache, whatever you want to call it. Well, they're up 2-0 in the groups. They're one map away from a spot in the top eight, spot at that legendary status, maintaining that legendary status, and of course, playing on one of the biggest stages in the world. Let's get the Molotov in position there for instead. He's waiting to bait. Hobbit out, stacks, takes damage from Flames. The Volatile therefore puts the nade in position and Hobbit swings around to close the kill. Gambit, despite the team of Virtus Pro being at home, take pole position into the playoffs. The first team to qualify, I wouldn't have expected, especially it's been so long since we've really seen an international event from them. Absolutely. Who would have thought? 3 0 for Gambit after going 5 0 down as well. Somehow, some way, Gambit finished first in groups, earning themselves a quarterfinal face-off against an Olaf-led fanatic who everyone expected would crush Zeus. Can you promise me to make something really crazy if you want this measure? Cut uh, your hair, make, make funny video, dance and uh, scream maybe, Zeus, I love you. You take it's like a uh, trophy and say, Zeus, I love you! <laughs> <laughs> if we win the major, okay, I will do it. Really? Yeah, I will do it. But oh, if you win, you will scream full of I love you. Of course. Okay. But, uh, they didn't. However, Hobbit still holding down the position. Crimso takes down Hobbit as well. Flusher though, too weak, 2 HP, and now he's dead. Adren on the bomb site. Very responsible, the double peaks coming in. Gambit Gaming will make their way to the semi-finals. Beautiful stuff from them. Composure, great counter strike. We saw much, we saw everything, James, for them to be in this position. At first, people thought their whole run was a fluke, as if Gambit were drunken brawlers stumbling into wins out of sheer luck. And yet, as they got deeper and deeper into the tournament, it became clear that there was a method to Zeus's madness. But I think Zeus understood his team hasn't been deep at a major before. He's got young and inexperienced players like Mo and Hobbit. 
and he needs basically to get comfort, to get what he prepared, what his game plan is, and execute that. He's going to win by executing, not by having the better players, in theory at least, going into these matches. Zeus was simply ham fisting his way to victory, and against all odds, it was working. But still stuck by back, the entire team still alive. But Gambit, they know where he is. Grenades, additional grenades sailing, and there it is! Gambit! They win the first match against the Astralis. Overpass is theirs! They have an advantage in this series, in the semi-finals here. Unbelievable turn of events, but it's not over yet. Even when the going got tough and his team was desperately in need of inspiration, Zeus was there, ready to lead in the most unconventional way imaginable. Time. Zeus and Hobbit are not long for this world. It wasn't really a coordinated attempt. I think Zeus is just using this round to talk to his team. He's standing in T-spawn at the moment. Can have a much longer tactical timeout. Get a team on the correct page. Слышишь, что ты сказал на тренинге, когда ты вот с P250 на тренском респе уже стоял, ты бегал? Я чуть чуть заорал, блядь, на команду и сказал, блядь, сука, все, все угомонитесь нахуй, блядь, успокойтесь, слушайте меня, блядь. Мы сейчас их выебим, просто, блядь, надо делать то, что я говорю, блядь. And Zeus is still taking the timeout. Still more to talk about. CTs here is getting very tense indeed. Now just down to device against three players who are playing perfectly, keeping themselves out of these positions. They're not peeking at all whatsoever, as they shouldn't be. And that's device now with nothing left to do but just save this AWP. Eco an extra frag if he possibly can, but that won't be the case. Whatever Zeus said to his team. It must have been pretty good, James, because that was a phenomenal round from them. Discarded. Cast aside, abandoned by the very organization he'd called home, Zeus entered the grand finals of the Krakow Major with everything to prove and nothing to lose. Steel only has one. The bolts can play off of him. Smoke on the bomb already. Kits for Steel. Kits for Steel. Who's the one with one HP? Getting closer. Getting closer for Zeus. He finds him and he backs away. Kit will be picked up by Bolts. But Zeus is going to sit on top of it. This will be the round. It's going to explode. It's going to be done. Bolts can get all the kills he likes. Gambit will get their 13th round. Zeus, that's so big from him. He knows it as well. Take it back because he thinks otherwise. They'll go aggressive. No one peeking, so he'll take every inch he can get to make this an instant kill on the shotgun. Crossfire set. He's found. Steel trades it. Steel goes for more. It's done. Gambit have done it. By winning that series, Zeus made history on more than one count. For starters, he became the oldest major winner in history at 29 years and 289 days old. He also cemented himself as inarguably the greatest in-game later the CIS had ever seen, and the one who was finally able to lead the region to their first CSGO major. Lastly, he became the first player ever to make it to a major final on two different teams. And unlike the times he'd been there with Na'Vi, his roster wasn't star-studded. He wasn't being hyped, boosted, or carried. He was just being Zeus, like he always had. <laughs> And as it turns out, that was enough. One more very, very, very important question for you. You tweeted, I will not give up till I win a mother beep in major. You just did that. Now what are you going to do? I just say, all of Meister, I love you. And second, God help me and I won major. The crazy thing is that he wasn't done. Shortly after Krakow, Zeus was invited to rejoin Navi, given that following his departure, they'd pretty much floundered. But Zeus is back, and that was another chance for Navi to become that major winning team that they perhaps always should have been, but weren't able to. And with the young gun who'd replaced Zeus becoming both a mentee and probably the single greatest player ever to touch the game, by 2018, Navi were back. They don't expect Flamey! Come on, Fiala! Come on, the man! 
Flamer denies it all, and surely it's Na'Vi. Seconds away to the Grand Finals. Against the odds, Na'Vi face down Astralis and walk away the victors. They have taken down the juggernaut. Nobody thought Astralis would be dropped out of the semis. This is a different Na'Vi than we're used to. What a play from the captain as well, Zeus. Carries them across the finish line, 31 and 18 for him. Another yeah, effort, but it's all done, surely, as they wrap around. Electronic fittingly finds the last kill, 16 to 8. Navi will pick up finally a trophy they've been waiting for all year. For the first time in 2018, none more deserving, Navi have won in Cologne! And yes, people did continue to make fun of Zeus's lackluster mechanics. Твое реалити шоу в Инстаграме, то четвертое. Распишись, ПВ. Ссылка удалена. Как ты относишься к Гамби? Какие отношения с Хабитом? Сможет стать капитаном? Not to mention his questionable decision making. Oh, here we go, Zeus, though. Finally does something. <laughs> He's cutting. <laughs> Yeah. Why is my life like this? <laughs> Every chance I've I feel like I'm in a sitcom sometimes. I would never things happen. And just for, you know, being Zeus. Nico has done a tremend tremendous, excuse me, job of doing so. Drop step right to find Zeus on the ladder. How has he done that? Simple. Yes. Why do you think you're so good? I, I tell him secret. You, you, oh, yes. you, oh is it your, yes. it's your secret? Because uh, I play in Gambit and Simple don't best. I really? Yes, and I'm back to Navi. And to so your, why? What's the secret? Your success is before, basically Before I tell the uh, secret to Adrian. Adrian uh, MVP major. Yeah. But it didn't matter. Zeus had won a fucking major. He'd commandeered yet another iteration of Counter-Strike and went on to play in four more majors. He even made another grand finals before skidding his 17-year career to a much-deserved halt in September of 2019. And despite all of the criticism he'd received over the years, everyone was sad to see him go. Yeah, all of our team gonna miss Zeus. I'm glad for you. I'm glad that in your life there are changes that affect you only positively. Everyone from Brazil, everyone from my BR, just would like to say thank you, Zeus, for everything you have done for Counter-Strike, and we always admire you. I hats off to you, my brother. Salute. Zeus is one of the few competitors who's been around since the very beginning of Counter-Strike. Not just from the current CSGO community, for all the people who don't know you from back in the early days of 1.6, when I first got to compete against you in, in Moscow, I think one of my first tournaments, always been a pleasure, man, always been a great competitor. And in that time, he's accomplished more than most people dream of. You people will ever have the kind of success or the kind of longevity that you've had, and you should be proud of that. Ultimately, it doesn't matter what you think about his haphazard and eccentric leadership style. Zeus is undeniably one of the greatest players ever to touch CS. I try to listen to my heart. I try to run away from something, but to make the right decisions, подумав, взвесив. You're free to disagree, of course, but the beauty of titles is that no amount of punditry can take them away from you. In spite of his detractors, Zeus has stood the test of time. He's had one of the most illustrious careers in the history of Counter-Strike, and is, by all accounts, a legend. Thanks for watching. If you want more content like this, hit the sub button and ring that notification bell. For unique bite-sized videos you won't find anywhere else, hit up our Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook pages.